Hi, Bernina Jeff here. We're going to show you how to install your Perfect Stitch Viewer by Dime. This has a few tricks to it, so I want to show you the way to install it correctly. There's two ways you can purchase this, actually three, but I'm going to show you. You can purchase it just with a download version. You get a cardboard and you get the serial number and everything else there. You go to the download center. I have this pre-typed in. I'm going to show you the center in a, in a minute. Or you can purchase the hard copy, which has the CD in it. The CD is just a, a copy of the software and put that in. It'll guide you through with the wizard how to install it. If I put it in with the CD, I'm going to check for updates because the CD has been burnt a long time ago and there's probably new improvements to the software since then. So I'll even show you how to do that. There is a form we need to fill out on the computer and that's right here. And it's very important that we only fill out what's required. If we start filling out this bottom activation code number, it will um, not allow you to activate it. So it seems redundant. It's kind of not a very good form, but that's why I'm doing this video. All right, first off, let's do the download version. So we need to type in this big long um, link. It's www.inspirationbydime.com backslash inspiration dash software dash download center. And I have that pre-typed in. I'm going to go to Google and here's what the download center looks like. Scroll down and find the software. We are going to do Stitch Viewer today. It takes about two minutes to install. And when we click on this, it just automatically starts a PSV setup uh, file. It takes about a minute or two to download. And it's downloading right now. And uh, I'll just continue on while it's downloading and then show you the process because all of it reason you're watching this is you, we need a step-by-step. -step. So it has several different download options here. And if you look at the top, it says redeem purchases. So this is where you actually can redeem this cardboard version of the software. So it's still downloading. And once it downloads, it'll quit uh, showing you how many seconds are left. And then we will just open that and I'll, I'll step you through step-by-step. What Perfect Stitch software does is it allows all those embroidery files that you have to show up as an icon or as a, as a picture that's going to look like it's going to be stitched out. Um, I've had many, many customers say, I've got 10,000 designs on my computer and I don't know what they look like. They're all just a bunch of numbers. So this converts that bunch of numbers into a picture and then you can actually link that to a a software that you may have so you can actually manipulate it or send it to your USB stick, however you want to work. All right, our setup is finished. I'm going to hit this little up arrow here and I'm going to have it open. So it will open up a menu and it is a installing wizard. So we're going to just, it's already installed on this computer, but I'm going to step you through it to the last step. So we're just going to hit next. Uh, it says the stitch uh, program's already on there. I do not want to remove it. So this is probably not gonna be a great demonstration, but in any case, if you do not have one installed on your computer, just continue with the wizard. Do not change any of its destinations or anything else. Just let it, let it run on the defaults. So we're gonna assume that uh, I am all finished with the install and I'm gonna minimize this window what you're going to get is a perfect stitch viewer icon somewhere on your desktop so it's a PVSV so to initialize this we're going to double click on that to start a perfect stitch viewer window and we want first off if we have the, any of these versions we want to go to registration so I'm going to click on registration mine is pre-filled you'll have empty but if you look down here on the very bottom left corner, this is the whole trick. Asterisks, those are the only thing that are required. And if you put anything else in there on the activation code, it will not activate. So you want first name, last name. You want an address, a city, a zip code, a state, a country, a home phone, an email address, and the serial number. 
You do not put any of these other two in here. When you hit register, it will fill those for you. So where do you get this serial number? It is right here underneath where it says serial number. I use capital letters and numbers and I include the dashes. I've blocked out the last four digits of this serial number. So uh, this is actually an unactivated um, card for a customer. So once you get that, I'm gonna just show you what it's gonna look like if I leave this open and then, it, then the register now is now activated. I could unregister it. This can be registered on two computers. After two computers, you have to call Dime to get additional registrations on that, just so they have control over this software. So I'd hit register now. And then it will automatically register your software and it'll be functional. Now, how does it work? You can go to how it works and it will step you through the process, brings you back to another website and you can learn through the help menus here. There's not a lot of help needed on this. I'll show you how it works. So this gives you, you know, PDFs of, of how, it, just two pages of how it works. I'm gonna minimize this. So if I installed this through the CD, I would check for updates. Now if I check for updates now, it's gonna say you're all ready to the latest version. If there was a new version, it would take you to the site and let you download that and overwrite the uh, old version. So now, let's go to View Designs. You do not have to go into this button every time. So right now, I'm just gonna demonstrate the designs they give you for free with this software. So I'm gonna hit View Designs. And let's view, these are all the same designs in different languages. I just know that PES looks better than some of the other designs. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to double left click to open up this folder. And lo and behold, instead of just little names and stuff, we have icons. Most of the time, you're going to have to hit view to select large, extra large. You can see most of the time you're just going to come in as a default with just names or numbers here. So if you just get a list or a details, come up here to this view tab. It's the third tab on the uh, um, window and hit large or extra large. I really like extra large because I can really see my designs really well. And then you can scroll down and see what designs are in that folder. So now this software is runs in the background. And every time you open up your computer, this is gonna be running. You do not have to click on perfect stitch uh, viewer to see your designs. I'm gonna go directly to a folder. I keep all my designs in one folder on my desktop. I might have 10 to 20,000 designs on a computer and they're all in one folder within folders. So I'm gonna double click, left click to open up my folders and I have art designs, I have FTCU class stuff. So I'm gonna open up a design folder that has quilting lines in it. So I'm going to double click to open this up and there's folders within there. So I'm going to look at uh, classic line, no nature impressions. And this is how you usually will open up a folder. It's all a bunch of details. Let's go up to the one, two, third tab, actually fourth tab and left click once on view and now slide down to extra large icons. And if I click on that, it's going to show any designs in there that are embroidered designs. This particular folder here, it's not in bird design, so it comes up as a little gear error or setting error. So these are all continuous line quilting patterns. And now if I want to look at other designs, here's a folder that says in custom shapes. Now, those are not anything that the software can see because these are in a Floriani language. So that's something that you really, it's not even an inverted design. So if it's not an inverted design, it's not going to show up. Hopefully that helps you a ton on getting the software installed and how to use it. Again, it's just a resident software that resides in the background and it 
allows you to see your embroidery designs in an icon instead of just a bunch of numbers. Now, one more tip to that. I'm gonna open up my embroidery designs again. And I have this design here. I'm gonna look at it, view it in extra large icons. And it's a design I made for my brother. He's a, a cleanup guy, so they call him branch manager. Kind of cute. So I can actually right click on this and have it open with, and if I have a software that can see and manipulate my embroidery designs, I can tell it to open up with uh, that embroidery application, or I have a Bernina software I can open it up with. So now I can click on there, and it's gonna open up that software and put this design right in the middle of my workspace. So it's pretty seamless once, you've, once you can assign which software you want it to open up with. My uh, software takes a while to open. It's popping up. Now it's gonna open up a new design and hopefully put branch manager right in the middle. There we go. Now I'm in embroidery software without having to open it up separately. So embroidery software can do a whole bunch. Thank you very much, I hope this helps.